This is a great book. Cornelius Reed was an incredible vocal teacher. He was a prolific writer. He won a Ford Foundation grant to write this book. And it's all about, um, it's a glossary of vocal terms and terminology. For instance, let's talk about this one, range. I'm gonna read this. It's written in this amazing language that's difficult to understand, but I will translate. Range, the compass of legitimate pitches a voice is capable of producing. The well-used voice possesses a range of at least two octaves, for example, tones which can be sung with a legato connection. Although ranges of three octaves are not uncommon, particularly with women's voices, those who boast of having four octaves or more invariably possess breaks which are indicative of a greater or lesser degree of mechanical fragmentation. Range must not be used to categorize voices unless the technique is well advanced, since it is primarily a reflection of functional eff uh, efficiency rather than functional potential. A baritone with good technique, for example, can often sing higher than a tenor with a poor one. Classification of voices based upon functional inadequacies leads to false uh, presuppositions and serious pedagogic, pedagogic misjudgments. Vocal quality and natural tessitura, not range, are the primary considerations in determining vocal categories. Goodness. Let's take this last sentence. Vocal quality and natural tessitura. So vocal quality meaning, um, I like to think of these as textures. Like if I, if I sing like, oh, oh, ee, versus going, oh, ee. sometimes it's uh, amazing to even recognize that those are the same pitches. So a tenor maybe would sound a little bit um, brighter, maybe like, oh, or, let me do it higher. Ah, ah, it's a little, that's me trying to be like a tenor, rather than, oh, more like a bass, okay? Um, I'm more of like a, a lower voice, like a bass, maybe bass baritone, something like that. And the natural tessitura, tessitura is like, the average note or group of notes where the song lies. So for instance, you know, tenors, the average tessitura, maybe somewhere around like middle C or a little bit higher D. And basses is a little bit lower, maybe like F to B flat below middle C. Um, you know, basses can sing high, basses can sing low. Tenors can sing high, some tenors can sing low. It's not necessarily the range that makes them a bass or a tenor. Um, what I get people that talk to me all the time, like, well, what's my range, what am I? And it's always a difficult thing. And what he's saying uh, here is that, um, Range must not be used to categorize voices unless the technique is well advanced, since it is primarily a reflection of functional efficiency rather than functional potential. So when, we, when, I'm, when I'm warming people up or when I'm working with people, I'm always listening, like, are they uh, chest dominant? Are they head voice dominant? is the technique perfect? And you know, nobody's technique is ever perfect. There's like maybe one person in the world at all times that has a flawless technique. Um, and so the once, but once the technique is relatively perfected or, or workable or um, you've worked on it and the muscles are coordinated in such a way that they can balance in between the two chest voice and head voice registers, then the range can be counted on a little bit more. So, you know, I, I teach a lot of middle school um, people, middle school kids, uh, elementary kids, um, even high school kids. Uh, and, you know, it's, I, I rarely try to, um, you know, define their range as tenor, bass, soprano, alto, um, because everybody can kind of do everything. Uh, and it's not really till a little bit later or if they get a little more serious in terms of a classical technique that we can start putting labels of soprano, alto, tenor, bass. 
I think in, in choir, um, I think we sometimes people can become an, an alto or a soprano or a tenor or a bass, and that could have lasting effects. You know, mainly, I don't know if it's mainly negative, but um, if you're trying to sing darker than you do your whole life, you could miss out on the other side, right? The, the lighter, brighter, more chesty sound. Um, or if you are singing high and like really, it's just like ah, trying to sing tenor your whole life, you're building intentions um, that, are, that are difficult to kind of relax. So um, yeah, that's range. This is Cornelius Reed's book, A Dictionary of Vocal Terminology. An analysis by Cornelius Reed, uh, Joseph Padelson, Music House publisher, written copyright 1983.